Hi, this is Matt Kachivas. I'm the VP over here at Radio Popper. Today we're going to talk about your new Nikon mounting solution that you probably just got in the mail. Uh, the set comes with two pieces. You have a base and you've got the mounting bracket that attaches to your PX receiver. These two pieces can be used together or just note that you could also use your base as a replacement for the foot that comes with your flash. The bottom of the base also has a quarter 20 insert which you can hook up to a monopod or your light stand. Before you put everything together you need to join these two pieces together. Note that on this piece right here, there are actually three slots. One is for the SB600, one is for the SB900, and one is for the SB800. We're going to go ahead and use an SB900 for this illustration. The SB900 is the center slot, so when you put it together, you simply slide the two pieces together, like so, push it into place so it's nice and stuck in there. Stuck, 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 stuck in there. Then you take your flash. Slide your flash into place, lock it, and you're pretty much done. Now that you have the flash in place, let's do a quick check to make sure that the pass-through hole for the IR sensor is in line with the actual sensor on your flash. You don't have to be completely covering the sensor, but as long as you can see it there, you're good to go. To install your PX receiver, you first want to make sure that you don't have any remaining foam or Velcro on the receiver. You want a clean slate. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your PX receiver, pop it into place, and you're ready to start shooting. When you're all done using your system and you want to remove your PX receiver, just pull on the large tab to release the PX. Stuck in there.